everybody. Welcome to our 30 minutes, so a little bit longer than usual, family yoga time with Kelly, myself, Kelly Craig, and of course, wonderful Raw Yoga that's hosting the session. Um, if you're used to a different space, I've changed venues, so yeah, a bit of a different room, but still the same person. Still going to be working into some familiar shapes that you're probably used to if you've been coming regularly. If you're not a regular, then that's perfect because these sessions stand alone. So I will explain and go through everything. I'm at my parents, so there's a lovely big dog outside, hence the bark of pleading to come in. Um, so let us begin so that we don't waste any time. I would actually like you to start lying down this morning if you're pleased to know. Don't often have a family class lying. It's not a sleep, so don't go to sleep, but just come and lie down and bring your legs into your body like this. Hopefully you're in, in a circle so you can see one another. And I'd like you to start to move around your hips a few times this way, and then move around the other way so that you're just waking up your backs and you're waking up your hips. And I'd like you to stretch your body out so you're in like the fullest and tallest possible version of yourself. And just give your family a smile so that you know they're with you and they can see you. I'd like you to push your hands up to the top of your space, point your toes like you're a ballerina, and then come back to that little small shape. So you're basically making yourself really, really small. So the smallest version, and then you're making yourself the tallest version. So take one more big stretch like this, and then one more little wrap. You also get to hug yourself, give yourself a well-deserved bit of appreciation for getting through the week. Okay, so now we're going to go for a happy baby. Some of you might know a happy baby pose. You're basically becoming a little baby again, where you open your legs out, you take hold of your, your ankles, your shins, or peace fingers, come around the big toes, and what you can do is you can start to gently rock like a baby that holds its legs. If you're finding this too much, take your hands behind your thighs and just rock side to side like this. And this is a bit of a funny shape, so you definitely might find that as you look around the room and see brothers, sisters, mothers, dads, anyone there doing this, you might find it being quite funny <laughs> to watch especially from a lie down position. So just enjoy being a bit free in the body, a bit effortless, and enjoy the smiles that this shape can bring. Take another couple more rocks side to side, and then find yourself in like a stillness, really grounding your body, and then draw your shoulders down and pull your legs beside you. Of course, we never want anything to hurt. So just somewhere that feels good as your hips start to open. I'd like you to take a big breath in. Take a big breath out through the mouth. <sighs> take two more like that. Big breath in. Big breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Make all the sounds you need. One more big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> Now we're going to bring the legs together and we're going to tip the legs to the right as you open through the left arm. So you take this nice spine twist and you can really open your heart. You're going to take a big breath in, big breath out. Ah. Take one more big breath in, big breath out. Ah. Remember breathing out through the mouth can feel really awesome. Come to the other side, open out. Maybe you're opening out into your space, so you can just give your family a little wave. Take two breaths, big breath in, big breath out. Ah. Big breath in, big breath out. Ah. Feel that really nice stretch down the side of your body. Super, everybody. Come back into a little hug. Take some rock and rolls up, okay? So what you're gonna do is rock up and down your spine and after a few books, you're going to come to your table with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. 
So you'll have to cross your feet and bring yourself back. That is your morning challenge. Okay, have a go when you think you have enough momentum. You cross your feet and you come forward and gently land in your table where you have your imaginary water balancing on your back. Your hands are really, really spread. So just check in with your fingers and thumbs, check in your knees, zip your belly button up to your, your spine. And now let's take our cat cow. So of course, our water will fall off our backs now, but that's okay. Take three more, breathe in, breathe out. Oh, feel that lovely opening of your spine, breathe in. Enjoy the sunshine, hopefully pouring into your rooms. One more, breathe out. Now, we're gonna start to wiggle around. We're gonna move in like a snaky shape. You see that yoga, we do cobras as well, so there's a bit of a snaky theme going on. And I think it's quite nice to think of snakes in some yoga poses because they don't have any um, sort of structural ability to, to resist anything in their bodies and they move so fluidly and they move so freely so the idea of being a snake can feel really awesome. Now I'd like you to come around your room, I'd like you to come off your mat into your space, I thought I'm on a floor but you might have a carpet and then wiggle and snake around your families so you're moving in all different shapes, you're also inviting your head to move around and weave in and out of your families. Of course, be really kind and mindful that you're not bashing into your families or your little brother or sister. You're being kind to just move around them. So not only are you feeling your body, but you are noticing your body in the space. You're becoming really aware of your space, which is very important to have spatial awareness. Slowly start to snake back onto your mats. Have your hands come forward so your fingers are really spread and we're gonna tuck the toes and we're just gonna lift the hips and bring our chest to our thighs. So we've got a long spine. We take a big breath in. We take a big breath out. We take a big breath in. Big breath out, ah. Now lift up so you straighten the legs. Of course, keep them bent if you need. And you just walk out your hands and your feet. You've arrived in your very special pose, your downward facing dog that we often arrive into. And it's a very important shape. It really stretches our whole body. It allows our head to be heavy. So just check you're not holding anything in your head. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Now I'd like you to step all the way forward and hang so you're in a dangling tree. So take your forearms and just gently sway side to side and then let your hands flop. So you have your branches of your tree hanging down. Again, trees are nice things to think about in yoga because they are rooted down and then they grow tall and their branches get to move freely in the wind. So come off your mats and move those branches like a kind of droopy tree moving around the space. Move around your families, weave in and out of your families branches be heavy see those trees maybe you have a beautiful tree in your garden or you know somewhere that has a tree with nice hanging branches let it be heavy let them dangle now I'd like you to come back to your mats and I'd like you just to let the, the tree branches come forward and back okay so we're gonna have them forward and back and we're gonna add the breath at the same time. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another three more. Three, 
two and one. Slowly start to lift up all the way. Bring your prayer together at the top. Take a big lift through your heart and bring your prayer to your heart space. Standing tall at the front of your mat. So I'd like you to come to the front. Close your eyes. Squeeze your belly in. Relax your shoulders. Think of a nice string at the top of your head, lifting you up and squeezing your glutes, which is your bottom, as you squeeze them in. And I'd like you to take three deep breaths here. So breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Like you're steaming a window, so you wanna see your breath on the window. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Take one more like this. Breathe out through the mouth. Now let's take the arms up to the sky. Lower down. And you can breathe out through the mouth or the nose. Now set the right foot back. So check you're all on the right leg. And then lift your arms up so we're in our lizard. We take a breath in and we open our heart. We squeeze our shoulders. Ah. We feel that lovely opening in the chest. Two more, breathe in, breathe out, ah. breathe in, breathe out. Ah. Now take your right hand, so it's the same hand as the leg, and bring it down onto your mats. If you have a block or a cushion, have it under that hand and take that nice twist Maybe lift the back leg if that feels good. Take a breath in, a breath out to twist open. Good, place your both hands down, move your prop away, come to your long plank. Now in our long plank we do have that glass of water back on our backs. And I'm going to challenge you to gently see if you can walk forward to the top of your mats with your balancing glass of water. I don't think I'm very good at this. I'm sure many of you are gonna be much more strong than me, and much more steady. So see if you can take a few steps forward. You're almost on your tippy toes. And a few steps back. Squeeze that belly, because you really feel the fire in your belly. How are you getting on? It's a bit of a challenge. Once you've done that a few times, come back to the center of your mat, push your mat away, breathe in, and then lower your knees, lower your chest all the way down. Have your hands forward, lift up, breathe in, and then we're gonna snake like a cobra out. Lift the hands, breathe in, open your lovely hearts, Snake like a cobra. One more, breathe in. Lift up. Snake like a cobra. Push back to your rock. Let your little slithery cobra come into the rock. Let your body settle, wiggle around. And if you've been coming to my practices regularly, you'll know the rock. It's a child's pose. It's where we're safe. It's where we can be secure. It's where nothing can harm us and nothing can get to us. So if you ever feel a little bit worried, a little bit scared, a little bit insecure about something, come down into your rock. Feel your ground beneath you. Feel the earth that's steady and strong and that's constant under us. And just know you're safe and know you're protected. Take another two breaths. Start to arrive back into your downward facing dog as you lift your hips. And this time, like happy dogs, we're gonna wag our tails side to side. So take another three, 
two, one, come back to centre, take a big breath in, big breath out, oh, this time we're going to step our right foot forward gently onto the left knee, okay, be really delicate as you land on your precious knees, raise up through the fingers, take a breath in, open your chest, breathe out, if you've done lion's breath with me you'll know this, breathe in, you can do a lion's breath here, opening your mouth and sticking your tongue out. One more. Breathe out. Good. Bring your left hand this time. So same hand as the leg. Inside, on the floor, on your mats, on your blocks, on your cushions. And then take a twist. And maybe the back knee lifts. And perhaps you're facing the centre into your space. And you can say good morning to your families. Take a breath in, take a big breath out. Ah, feel that awesome twist into your bodies. And then I'd like you to lower your hands again. Come back to your planks with your glass of water back on your backs. This challenge, and if you need, you can do it on your forearms, so come down, okay, if it's hurting your hands or wrists. Otherwise, if you're hardcore, you can open the right leg, open the left leg, and then bring it back. So we're going to do three of these on the right, and then three of them starting on the left. Have a go. Find your gaze on your mats, so you feel really steady. You've got this, you're stronger than you think. And once you finish that, come back to your full plank, breathe in, lower your knees, chest comes down, hands are forward, lift up your heart, breathe in, and start to bring the body down. Take one more. Oh, we need to do our hissing snake. Hiss out. Take one more, hands are maybe wide, forward, wherever feel good. Hiss out. Super. Push back, push up to your downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, you're going to make a big breath in. Breathe out through the mouth. Step your right foot forward. Come to warrior two. So I'm going to face you. So you can see me, warrior two has your back foot in the same way as the back of the mat. You straighten through the fingers, you open your knee, your hips are opened and you lengthen your fingers. We're gonna breathe in and lift and we're gonna breathe out and lower. Gonna breathe out and lift, breathe out and lower. Mostly our inhales lift us and our breathing out lowers us. Okay, if you're a bit newer, you won't know our special bow and arrow warrior. Okay, this warrior takes the front hand, lifts up, gets an arrow from the backpack, breathes in and then shoots the arrow out. Okay, so the breath I'll explain is you breathe in through the nose and when you shoot out you have to go so let's all try that, okay? It's through the teeth and the teeth are closed, okay? So breathe in through the nose. Breathe out. It's like you're really excelling that air, like a crashing wave against the side of some rocks. So come back to your warrior two. Take your right arm. Take your arrow. Breathe in. Shoot it out. See if you can get it really far the bow to maybe the house is all the way down the road okay take two more breathe in breathe out you're really powerful and strong check your back hand hasn't fallen down and it's also lifted take one more biggest one yet nice i hope everyone got that breath going now bend your right elbow Place it on your right leg and lift the left arm up, 
So we're opening it out into our nice warrior side stretch. We take a big breath in, big breath out. Ah, make sure your neck isn't hurting. So look down if you need one more big breath in, big breath out. Ah, super everyone, look down, come and lift up. And now we turn to the other side. So we have our balance in yoga. Make sure we do both sides. Get down into your warrior two. Make sure you feel safe and steady in your legs. And then lift as we breathe in and lower back down. <sighs> Breathing out through the mouth or the nose. One more. Breathe out. <sighs> okay we have our arrow on our left. So our left hand will take the arrow, it will lift up and it will shoot forward. See if you can get this time, maybe to your next street along. So not just to the end of the road, but to the next street. So you're really throwing the arrow far, okay? Imagine where you're sending it to. Make sure you don't hurt anyone though, or any animals, please. So let's all take a big breath in. We lift up the arrow, we throw it out. Take another one, we lift up. Maybe you want to sink forward as well. Awesome. One more, we breathe in. We sink forward. Come back to your warriors. Place your left elbow onto your left thigh and open that lovely heart to your rooms. Hopefully you're facing in and you can see everyone in your space. Take a big breath in, big breath out, big breath in, big breath out. Look down and slowly start to come up. Straighten both legs. Okay, shake your hands, shake your feet, wiggle your bottoms, move your shoulders just so you're feeling that body again, noticing if, it, if it's changed. How is it feeling now? Okay, awesome everyone. Hope you're still okay <coughs> and still with me. We're gonna now do a nice forward fold, okay? But be gentle with yourself. Have your feet, this time, the same as the warrior two back foot. It's facing forward into your family. Give everyone a wave, check they're okay. Make sure you're communicating with your families. Then take your hands to your hips and feel your hips. So make sure your hands are really on those hip bones and just check with your families to make sure they're, they're looking like it's on their hips. Okay, and then we take a breath in. And then as we fold forward, we bend over and we are in a nice forward fold. If you have a prop, you can bring it forward because if you fancy and you feel steady, you can place your hands on the prop in front of you to help you out of it, okay? And we're going to take a breath in and we're going to take a breath out. Bend your knees if you need as well. And you don't need to use a prop, you can just have your hands there as well. So breathing in, check the back of the head is let go. Take some long deep breaths, two more. One more. Ah. Hands come onto your hips, breathe in, breathe out here, and then start to breathe in, lift yourselves up, come up slowly because otherwise you can feel a little bit lightheaded if you come up too quick. Lovely everybody, awesome job, shake out your hands, shake out your feet, and come and sit down. Your, you've arrived in your well-deserved seat. And sit down with our feet together in our little butterfly, butterfly wings. See your family, smile to your family. I'm actually also back at home with my, my family. So I actually can feel that lovely connections to parents again. Um, so I know that it can be hard and challenging to live together, but also really nice to have that connection and support. So know that that's something very special 
And in your little butterfly, I'd like you to massage your feet, okay? Give your feet a bit of a massage. Just see how they're, how they're doing this morning. Our feet carry us every day. And often we're not giving them enough attention. And in your butterflies, I would like you to breathe in. And breathe out as you lower forward. Bring your head down. Chin to chest. Feel your whole back body start to relax. We have four deep breaths here. Good, and then slowly sit up. This time your hands are going to become behind you. Stay exactly where you are. I'll just move to show you. Hands come behind you. Squeeze your shoulders. Look up into perhaps your sunny space. Maybe you have a glass ceiling or sunshine coming in. Breathe in. Squeeze your shoulders. Open your mouth. Ah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more. Breathe out. Slowly lift up. And come back to your seat facing inwards. And if you want for our final breathing, you can come closer together. So you can put your knees together or be a little bit closer. Move your mats in or come into your own space. We're going to do <coughs> a breathing together. Sometimes we do a back-to-back -back breathing where we sit and, and feel each other's um, breathing rates at the same time. But this one is where we're going to, with our hands, either, and if possible, connect hands in a circle, or if there's just two of you, two or three, have the hands together. If you don't feel like you want to connect hands or it's a bit too awkward to reach, then you can imagine, you know, hands can be a little bit of distance away from each other and you can use this imaginary energy in between to do this breath, okay? So both are fine. I encourage you to have your hands together if possible because then there's some real connection. Find somewhere you're sitting that's comfortable. So if you want, you can sit up on your props or fold your mats or grab a cushion from your sofa or something like that. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. My special green cushion, which is much more comfortable than a block. And then you're going to bring your hands together, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And you're going to take a big breath in as you lift your hands up. High up, maybe of course you're at different heights, so just come where is good for the smallest person. And then breathe as you lower down. Let's take five more like that. Breathe in. Lifting the hands up. Breathe out. Close your eyes. Make it feel really gentle. Let's take two more. And take a final one, see if you can get a longer breath. And if you're really enjoying those, take a few more. Otherwise, if you want, you can just find a seat, keep your eyes closed, try not to talk or fidget. Just have your hands on your legs. Let your shoulders come back and down. And just find some quietness for a couple of moments in your space. Perhaps, you know, after over a year in lockdown, the space has become stressful and a lot of work and noise and things going on all the time. So this is your chance to bring some fresh energy as we ease out of lockdown soon. 
our spaces can feel a bit different. They're not everything to us, but they become a little bit more like our living space with some fresh energy. And what I'd like you to do to end is think of something that you often tell yourself that's no good. So maybe you often say, I am not good enough. Or maybe you sometimes say, I can't do this, or I won't do this, or I don't deserve to be happy, or I don't feel valued, or I'm not good enough at my maths, or I'm not good enough at football to play in that team. Think of something that you often tell yourself. And what I'd like you to do is think of that, what that is. You can share it, or you can just think of it in your head. And I'd like you to change that language. So instead of saying, I am not good enough, I want you to say, I am good enough. Instead of saying, I'm no good at maths, I can't do that. I want you to say, I am good at maths and I can do that. Instead of saying, I don't deserve to be happy, say, I do deserve to be happy. And think of what that is. Think of the change of language. Think of what you can say in your head that's going to help you to feel more positive. And I'd like you to repeat that, that in your head a few times or say it out loud, share it with your family, say it really loudly in your head or say it really loudly out. And really think about what that is and bring that into your day and weeks ahead. Let's take our prayer to our heart. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. Start to bow down, giving yourself so much love and thanks as you say namaste or thank you or anything you like. And I think we're going to have to finish there. But thank you for joining me on this Saturday sunny morning. Any comments, questions, requests, chat to me, always encouraged. Otherwise, happy Sunday. Happy Saturday, rather. Let's not wish the weekend away. See you next week.